What's going on everybody? It's Relentless here bringing you yet another division build video. Uh, before we get into it, don't forget the links in the description below. Hop on over to Revolution Gaming's Facebook community, the most awesome non-toxic community for all things gaming. And also, we still have a console giveaway going on. Uh, it's only for another two and a half to three weeks, so be sure to get in on that. All you gotta do is click on the Gleam link in the description below and follow the steps, and you'll be entered to win a console of choice. But without further ado, let's hop into this build. Um, it's a fun build. Uh, I do everything PVE in it, uh, between anything in the light zone, uh, incursions. Basically, it has awesome survivability. It has everything you need. It puts out tremendous damage. It uh, completely obliterates NPCs, bosses, you name it, and it's overall a fun type of build. But let's hop right into it. Alright, as you can see, first I want to point out the toughness. Now you may think this is low in toughness, and you'll be correct because I need a better Ninja Bike Messenger Bag. As you can see here, it has firearms low on the armor roll, but the main thing is is the major attributes. You want health on that. So if you have health on the major attributes part, that will push you up to around 290k toughness, which is uh, my preferred sweet spot between 290 to 305. That's where I'd like to be. So if you have a better ninja bike messenger bag, you want health rolled in the major attributes and the minor ammo capacity in the mod slots, electronics with skill haste, and first aid self heals. Now the other two pieces you want health rolled onto is the chest piece that we'll see here. 1871 armor, which it was a little bit higher. Rolled to firearms and the major attributes is health at 15,727 and then plus 4% health on kill. Also you can substitute health on kill for skill haste. But for most of these PvE situations, the extra 4% health on a kill plays a good factor because it works its way into the uh, two pieces of Nomad where you get the 15% health on a kill that makes a total of 19% health on a kill. And the minor attributes, we have ammo capacity. In the mod slots, we have electronics with skill haste and another electronics with skill haste. And let's go on to the mask, which is one piece tactician, accompanied with the ninja bag, makes two, and that gives you 15% skill haste. Uh, 996 armor, roll to electronics, and the major attributes, you want skill power. And the miners, it doesn't really matter. Uh, damage to elites will be good. Blind death resistance, uh, I have here. So just whatever best you have in the minor attrib attribute spot. But the main thing is you want skill power, roll to major, and roll to electronics. And in the mod slot, 267 firearms, 3% skill haste. Now moving on to the one piece nomad. That makes two pieces, as you can see, 15% health on a kill. 1568 in armor, decent firearms roll, and also this is the third component uh, that you would want health rolled onto in the major attribute spot, which is at 16,027th. And the miners, we have increased kill XP, disorient resistance, and bleed resistance. Also, uh, in the miners, it'd be a, a good place to have the damage to elites in there. Um, but so far, these are the best Nomad knee pads I've have gotten so far. But the damage to elites, if that was in the miners, that would just make this build even more potent when it comes to all things PvE. And in the mod slots, we have 264 firearms and 3% skill haste with first aid self heal. Now moving on to the gloves, we have SMG damage, crit hit chance, and crit hit damage. As we all know, the three pieces of Predator's Mark gives you 8% assault rifle damage and 8% SMG damage. I am more of a SMG player, so that's why I have this roll to SMG damage. But if you prefer assault rifle, then you can have an AR damage to where I have SMG damage. And this is a piece you would want to roll to firearms at 1250. Um, could be higher, but it has a good armor roll as well at 994. And now we move on to the holster. Uh, low on the armor side, 876, so you probably will have a better holster out there that will uh, also reflect on your toughness. But my main stats are 1239, 1259, and 1258 with 7% skill haste. And in the mod slot, first aid self heal. So let's go over and 
do a complete review. If you want health rolled in the major attribute spot of your backpack, your chest, and your knee pads. We have three pieces of Predator's Mark accompanied with the Ninja Bag. That makes four. So that will give you the bleed damage and also the 8% uh, damage increase on your SMG and AR. We have the one tactician accompanied with the ninja bag that makes two pieces of tactician to give you the 15% skill haste. And then we have the one piece nomad and then accompanied with the bag that makes two and that gives you the 15% health on a kill. Let's say you don't want uh, the bleed resistance and prefer a little more skill power. Then all you have to do is substitute any three of these pieces of predator and add a, another tactician. And that in turn will give you a 10% increase in skill power. Also, if you prefer to add something else along with the Nomad, and let's say you would want the Nomad Resolves, grants a small constant uh, amount of healing, allowing the user to regenerate all segments of health. By all means, you can switch out a Predator's uh, piece for a another Nomad. So the sky's the limit. If you want some uh, vigorous chest piece here, such as the one that I have here, then by all means you can have this vigorous chest piece and then you still get the 8% damage. And then um, this particular one that I have here is rolled to skill haste. So you will have more skill haste than what it currently already has. Um, it's With the ninja bag, I mean, there's so many different combinations and creations, um, but I found that um, using it this way as far as one tactician, one nomad, and then the three predators mark accompanied with the ninja bag. Um, I like the bleed uh, effect that it gives because it gives that little extra damage so you know you save on ammo, especially if you're soloing incursions um, because you know you can pout them to where they have like a slither of help and then you know how they run and hide or duck behind cover but the bleed will just cause them to bleed out. Mm -hmm. But by all means, uh, mix and match uh, how you will. You can even throw on uh, some Savage Gloves, um, as the ones you see here. Uh, enemy Armor Damage, Health on a Kill, along with Skill Haste. Uh, as far as the uh, Skill Haste, Health on a Kill, the Enemy Armor Damage, I mean, they all three work. It's just basically what you want. You could have uh, AR Damage on here. You could have SMG Damage, Crit Hit Chance whatever the case may be, but let's show you the character stats with the way that I had it, and then we'll go over to with the Savage Gloves. So first we'll start off with the M Navy MP5. 48% crit hit chance, 117% crit hit damage. As you can see, we have 19% health on a kill. Our skill haste is at 37%, skill power 161.369, survivability is 31.18%, total max health on your character, which is my max health pool is 184k. Because with the health on the kill, you can be what, what you would call a little more squishy, um, because you have that big chunk coming back to you every time you, you get in a kill. So therefore, you can be a little less tanky and spec more into skill power and firearms because that's where pretty much all the builds uh, have to rely on. You've got to have skill power because that will in increase your survivability and it's not so much your toughness. As long as you have adequate toughness and roll health on your chest piece, knee pads, and backpack, then you're good to go. Let's just say you want to go in with these Savage Gloves. As you can see, my crit chance drops. Crit hit damage drops, uh, 42.5 and 101. But then you gotta add the, the see my health on a kill jumps up to 23%, and then you get that 6.5% enemy armor damage, um, which is I'd probably end up going with just the uh, archetype weapon that I would be using damage instead of the enemy armor damage because it's just 6.5%. And skill haste jumps to 46%. So you can mix and match ever how you prefer. I just prefer the bleed resistance. But if you want some savage gloves in there, then by all means, go for it. But the main key components is this one-piece nomad, 
that makes two with the ninja bag and also one tactician to give you that additional 15 percent skill haste so that way you get your skills back faster and that increases your survivability as far as when it comes to uh damage wise instead of these predators marked you can substitute even for alpha let's say you want alpha bridge in there then you get the 100 percent health regen and only five percent weapon damage does the five percent weapon damage and 100 percent health regen justify switching to alpha i don't think so i think predators mark wins over right here because you get more damage out of it and plus you get that uh additional reload speed that comes in handy when you are running ars but that's it. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's been informative. I really enjoy this uh, this build. It's been fun and interactive. Uh, you can pick and choose whatever weapons that you prefer going with this. It's any AR, any uh, SMG. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, I prefer always the Navy MP5. Some prefer the MP7, um, but I just don't like the MP7, so that's why I always run with the Navy MP5. And in this case, I have Fierce, Deadly, and Vicious on it because of the crit. With uh, magazine size, crit damage, and crit chance in the magazine, and the trifecta also in the small optics. With crit damage, headshot damage, crit chance, and small muzzle, crit damage, crit chance, and a little stability, and some more crit damage, stability, and optimal range in a small underbarrel. I kind of like the ACR. I also um, have this lightweight M4 here with brutal, focused, and fierce, just trying out the whole focus thing on it. Uh, but with this build, I really like the Tactical ACR with Brutal, Fierce, and Adept with Magazine Size, Create Chance, Rate of Fire, and Large Optics. Also, the Trifecta, Create Chance, Create Damage, and Headshot Damage, and the Large Muzzle. Headshot Damage, Create Chance, and Create Damage. In the Underbarrel, we have a Create Damage, Stability, and Optimal Range. And with that additional uh, Rate of Fire on it, it puts it at right at around the same as the MP5 would be... Um, at 800 rpms but that's going to do it ground and pound that like button if you've enjoyed it. it's been informative and i recommend trying this build when p do all things pbe uh you can try it in the dark zone i have i'll be honest i have not tried it in the dark zone as far as pvp wise but if you're just farming in the dark zone then by all means this is uh, a great way because if you run solo in the dz you have survivability and by killing NPCs, you get your health right back, so you save on your med kits and don't have to use them, except for in, you know, dicey situations where you're waiting for your skills to come back. But when you have 47% skill haste and 161k skill power, then your skills are going to come back really fast. And plus, on top of that, uh, you can always run with the life support. It drops a revival station that automatically revives you. Um, especially going in the DZ solo or you know any place that's kind of dicey as far as incursions by yourself, then this comes in real handy because you're relying on yourself. You have no one to pick you up, but this will pick you up, uh, and it's very user-friendly also. So I hope you enjoyed the build. I'm sorry I keep rambling on, but I keep forgetting these little nitbits uh, of information, and I want to try to point out everything as possible that I can about it and be as thorough as possible. So I appreciate you bearing with me and listening to my rambling. But that is definitely it. I'm finally done, over with. I'm not going to add any more and prolong this video any further. But thank you guys so much for all your support. Uh, I am currently back in the hospital, and luckily I figured out how to use the Wi-Fi here. So uh, send positive vibes and thoughts my way, guys, uh, and I appreciate all your support, love, and kindness, and we'll see you guys. All right, let's go, guys. I'll show you, I'm going to take some damage so that way uh, it reflects. Build. That's right. Shoot. That's right. Burn me up. Burn me up. Set me on fire. There you go. See that big chunk of health I just got back. Just for killing that one enemy. There you go. That's this build in action. One of the best PvE builds that uh, I've come up with. It's it's versatile. It works out great. 